the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Uh, I saw an article the other day. Do you remember Do you remember Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson, football player? From... He used to play for the Bengals. Yes. I th- yeah. I think he probably went somewhere else at the end of his career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it came out, He, I guess he was doing an interview or something, that when he played for the Bengals, at one point, he saved money by living at the stadium for two years. Mm-hmm. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, it said, uh, and then one, I didn't read the, I didn't read the full article or listen to the interview, but a comment on uh, Reddit said, it's worth listening to the full interview. Even when he moved out, he had a small web, one bedroom down the st- street from the stadium, and he never bought any fancy, fancy cars. He always wore fake jewelry and shopped at Claire's. Uh, the outfit he wore in the interview was from Urban Outfitters on the sale rack he got for $50. With his kids, he gave them everything but the cheap versions until they were old enough to care. And he flies Spirit Airlines and is only splurge as the exit row. But the one thing he does splurge on is tipping people. Yeah, and it said uh, somebody else said he's very cheap but generous. He routinely tips five hundred to a thousand dollars on a twelve dollar meal with a note that says "I love you." So he'll go out and get a cheap meal and then tip the waitress like a thousand bucks and just be like, "I love you." <laughs> I can I can, I can kind of relate to that. Um, I mean, he definitely has the means to le- to live a certain type of lifestyle. But I mean, he's just not blowing his money, right? Like you, yeah, see, you hear yeah, so yeah, many yeah. stories about athletes. Get they you know they come from they come from like a, a like a impoverished lifestyle they get millions of dollars and then in three years it's all gone they blow it that all part. and then they're not playing that and then they're part. like damn I could have been set for life and now I'm broke yo people get people get that big lump sum of money like you, you hear that about people who win a lottery you win fifteen million dollars in the lottery and in five years you're broke like yep. how 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 yeah I how? mean it's <clears throat> you get involved in that lavish lifestyle thing. Um, nah, brother, you do that for like a year as a celebration, and then you you lock it down. But it's hard. But once you're used to that, it's hard to pull it back. Uh, you I get mean, used to. Why do they say you know people that make like 200k a year live paycheck to paycheck? Because they yeah, they they, they, they extend themselves all the way to the. They're like, yeah. oh, I have 800 dollars disposable income. Well, I'm gonna get a new car that is 800 dollars a month. Yeah. And then they're stuck. Like I'm gonna get a, yeah. I'm gonna buy a house with a with a five thousand dollar a month house payment. Yikes. Like, get the hell out of here, dude. You're like, not wrong. Uh, I, you know, like, I, I've even found myself kind of falling subject to that sometimes because it's like, I'm like, oh, you know, I, I got it. I'll just, uh, you know, order something from Amazon every day of the week. Yeah. Or like, or you're like <laughs> just, oh, I got a raise. I make an extra hundred dollars a week or extra two weeks or whatever. Yeah. You're like, oh, so I can have this new bill or buy this thing or yeah. like whatever. I'm like, hey, I got it. You know, I'll, I'll eat shrimp for every meal. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just eat but, shrimp But you know what? I think like we day. have a, I think you, uh, like you and I are in the category. We have a very different mindset or can than some people because we don't have a family. We don't have a wife. We don't have like, so it's like, you know, a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to spend my money. I want my kids to have my money yeah, when they're yeah, gone. Yeah. Or I want my wife to be taken care of. We're like, if I like, if I died tomorrow, my money would just like go to my mom or like whatever. Right. Like, it's yeah. not like I'm setting somebody up for the future. <laughs> no, no. Like, so it's like, you made a really <laughs> With good the point. amount of money that me and you have, she'd be good for like a couple months. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know? Exactly. But, and, but I guess my other point is a like, nice little hookup, but ideally like in a normal, if we think about the world, right? Like yeah, yeah, you yeah. and I will outlive our parents hopefully. Right. Because that's how, how life is supposed to work. Right. And if we don't have a wife and we don't have kids, if we get to the point where we can't take care of ourselves, the government's just going to take all of our money. Yeah. So like, why like they do it to people who save up and have? <laughs> right. So it's like so like you you've made the point of like why save it if why not spend it while you have it and then when you know because yeah. yeah I mean if I save up a million dollars and I don't have a wife or kid and then all of a sudden I get in a terrible accident I can't take care of myself the government takes that million dollars and I live in a nursing home and yeah. it's over yeah, and yeah. then I could have had so much more fun spending that million dollars. Then, you know, but I get why people do it when they have kids because they're like setting up trusts or like whatever. Yeah, 100 percent. And I mean, and there's some uh, some planning for the future. Like if you plan on being 90 years old to the point where you can't work, but you can still like, you know, take care of yourself for a little while. Maybe you make it to that point. Uh, I guess it's either like if you're planning on like I'm going to get to the age where I'm just going to be in a nursing home and I've accepted that. I don't know if I'm gonna make it that far. You don't know if you're gonna make it that far. And that and that's the struggle I think I have with 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 how like I want to plan for retirement. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and I think everyone when they're young, right? Like I think I think I've heard a lot of my friends when they were when we were in high school and stuff, or even people that are young now say things like, "Man, I can't believe I made it to 26." Like it seems so far away when you're young that you're even going to make it into your 30s. Yeah. But then when you hit your 30s and you like realize like, "Oh, people just don't die randomly." Like it it does happen, but it's it you're you don't have as big of a chance of dying randomly before you're like 50 as like you assume you do, right? Like the average chance to die, yeah. Like I think the average lifespan is like in the seventies. So like most people are pro, most people pro live into the seventies, right? But people die earlier, 70s, people die 80s. later. Yeah, seventies, yeah. eighties. Yeah. But then why, when I think about the future and and hear like, oh, when I'm eighty and I'm like, I'm never making it to eighty. <laughs> like I don't know why that pops in my head, right? And then it makes me like, how much do I want to plan for retirement? Am I even gonna make it to retirement age? I'm not gonna make it. 80, man. You don't think you're going to make it to 80? That sounds a long way away, dude. Yeah, like, man. That's more than, like, double what you've done now, right? Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. Yeah, like, if I think about, like, I have the entire amount of time I've lived <laughs> doubled again, but as an adult, because, like, even when you're a kid, the first 10 years of your life, you might as well throw that in the dumpster because yeah, you don't remember any of count. that stuff. That doesn't even count. And then even, yeah, and then your life really starts when you hit 21, yeah. probably. Yeah. Like, because under 21, you're stupid. You don't know what you're doing. So, so like, if, if you think of it in that aspect, and I have, like, two or three times of my adult life left, that's I'm like, lot. holy crap, that's bro. That's, lot, that's, like... That's another 40 Plus, years. 40 plus, dude. Like 40 years, fam. That's a lot, dude. That's a lot. I mean, we'll be at episode 4,000 on the podcast by then. If we're still doing this, if we're both 80, that will be awesome. People will be like, I've been listening to you guys since I was a young buck. That's insane. Talking about our... But you know what? Honestly, Jonas, 60 years, 40 years, 30 years, you never know, man. Nah, you man. You never know. I mean, people, people, kids die every day. And then there's somebody living to be 100 every day almost. So, I mean, you never know what, what part of that spectrum you're going you're gonna to get taken. Because, I mean, it's just as simple as, like, you could be like, hey, dude, I'm going to run to the store real quick. We'll finish recording in 20. And you get hit by a car and die. Like, exactly. you know what I mean? It, that could happen anytime you leave the goddamn house. So you're saying that you only have about as, uh, an average chance to die randomly. I, I kind of give you that. I mean, you know, heart disease tends to take out the majority of the human race. <laughs> yeah, America. heart disease, cancer. Yep. In, COVID. In America. Well, COVID isn't killing people nearly as bad. <laughs> COVID was like one of the biggest killers for a couple of years, for sure. It was. It was. You know, but cancer and heart stuff are usually like, yeah, yeah. you know, and and then uh, I mean, and and here's the thing: with as much process, all this random shit we have, everyone gets cancer basically in some form. <laughs> like whether it's, I mean, but dude, you can get cancer. People, get, people, it used to be like lung cancer from smoke, but now people get stuff like, oh, they got like a, a la like larynx cancer, like. What are you laughing about, dude? I'm not trying to be do doom and gloom. You, you kind of are, man. <laughs> You've been doom scrolling, haven't you? <laughs> All right. You, you've been what articles have you I'm been reading? I'm a very positive person. I not can't tell from this <laughs> podcast today. I cannot. I can't tell. Why don't you tell me what's different? Why why don't you feel that way? Uh, I don't know. I I kind of do feel that way, but I don't know if I would. I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm, it's, I mean, I'm just accepting of whatever happens. Like, if I get hit exactly. by a car tomorrow, dude, that's it. Yeah, exactly. But it does cross my mind. Like, if, should I save for retirement or not? Huh. Because is it going to matter? I wonder if that was Ocho Cinco's ideal. Is it that he's saving up for, like, to maintain that generational wealth? For his family. So yeah. his family for decades will never have to work because it's like it, it's, if that's his idea i don't know like if he has any other businesses or anything people with that oh, degree sure of, with that does. degree of wealth they gotta have something if he's that cheap he's invested his money he's got a business exactly plus you know like people with large sums of money like that like to do the angel investor thing too yep so. oh yeah absolutely they're like okay cool yeah we'll give you a million dollars for your business and we're 10 percent owner yep, yep and then we get go. 10 percent profit in yep. perpetuity and forever we didn't have to do anything just give you the money up front right exactly like yeah that's how like people like mark cuban like those people on yep. sh uh, shark tank that's they make so much money because i mean yeah they have the risk because some of those companies fail right absolutely but like that's you get risk. one big one and you're getting 10 percent of their profit for the entire like mm -hmm. you you get one uh what's like a company that came out of nowhere like scrub daddy yeah sure i that, don't even know that, what that is that was a shark tank one what's scrub daddy it's the little scrubber that, oh the circle it, it, that has like the little face in the, it oh yeah yeah that's from shark tank i believe the ring 
camera system is also was originally on Shark Tank. Oh, really? Because I watched. I, dude, I you watched used to watch Shark Tank back every when, episode when it was early. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, anyways, go to thecrazynow.com for Jonas Uber as well, I believe. Sorry, TNT. Uh, we have 